One of my favorite shows this year is Tootsie, and we... One of your favorite the, shows. Your, your favorite, favorite show. <laughs> Deserving we, of multiple drama desks. Actu awards. Absolutely, actually. And we have Scott Ellis, the director. We have... Robert Rick, Horn. Robert Horn, who has written the best book of a musical in the least past five years at least and and I'm Aeneas Mitchell <laughs> and David make a chin, yeah. make a chin. <laughs> and David yes yeah, back <laughs> all right Mother's Day is coming up oh my what god what is your fondest memory of your mother Scott. My, oh, wow, wow. My fondest memory of my mother was uh, bringing her to the first Tony Awards that she'd ever attended and to put bring her there and to have her watch. That was quite a few years ago, but that I remember thinking, oh, this is a cool moment for her and it was a cool moment for me. Fondest memory of my mother was um, leaving me on the doorstep of an orphanage. No, fun is my mother's taking me to my first Broadway musical, 70 Girls 70, and seeing my face light up and her turning to me and saying, this is what you're gonna do with your life. Say yes. And I say, life keep happening every, every day. day, say yes. yes. David? I don't know what this means, but I have a memory of a, of a small, dark closet and being locked in it for 12, 13 hours a day. Um, it was kind of harrowing, but it was also comforting. And that is my memory of my mother. And he's got a was, there a was there a piano? <laughs> was yeah, there a yeah. piano in the closet? Yeah, there was a piano. <laughs> and happy Mother's Day to all of us. I also remember her swelling, as, uh, being in a crib looking up, and her swelling breast coming towards me and then I remember it being replaced by a bottle by a plastic bottle filled with formula um, okay we're good with that one <laughs> all right Robert your book has made me laugh harder than anything else where did you come up with these well you know I, I, as cliche as it sounds, you, obviously a lot of it was the collaboration with these gentlemen next to me, truly so much of it. But when you're writing, they, they, it talks to you, that you, the characters live in your head and they, and they become funny and they sort of tell you what they want to say and you just take years and years of experience and practice and also being very neurotic and very Jewish and just thinking that way anyway. And it's sort of a perfect storm of all those different things and then you start to write and you work with great talented people like Scott and and uh, uh, David, and and you create something. It just sort of it it, it because you you give birth to it. You must have had the best time working on this show. You guys must have laughed like insanely all the time. We talk about that. We it was three years of laughing, and and, and really laughing. Yeah. yeah. And I got to say that starts at the top because Scott creates an environment where everybody has a good time. We joke that the note sessions where he gives notes to actors are funnier than the show. Because Scott, he makes every day fun. You too. I, I know you don't like to talk, but he really does. He really does. He he's a, he's a, he's a Mr. Rogers of kind of adult oriented comedy uh, rehearsal. Except it's every he makes, sweater, it's a baseball cap. He makes each day a special day. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, you brought back the old-fashioned musical and made me love it again. Thank you. I love that. I love thank that. you, thank you. I love that. Thank you so much. Um, can I get a picture with the 